So before I begin, uh, I want to say that my book is also non-fiction, just like Sean teachers. Uh, I wasn't aware that the book had to be a fictional work. Uh, maybe I'm, I understood it wrong, but I hope you guys enjoy my presentation anyway. Okay. So the book that I'm going to share with you today is uh, Golden Rules by Napoleon Hill. And I've added the sub, uh, subheading or subtitle. Okay. Uh, Okay, Sonia, can you see the subtitle? <coughs> Subheading? Can you read what it says? Okay, it says uh, rediscover the keys to success and redefine your life. Okay? And the ideas contained in this book is nothing new and you just haven't put it into practice. So we're going to discuss about uh, your keys to success, okay, and how you can become successful. So I read this book twice, once when I, when I was a college student, and second more recently, and I can say that this book has changed the way I perceive the world. And I hope that it will also change your thoughts and bring you closer to success. And it was the principles that was contained in this book which allowed me to live a life more focused, on value rather than material wealth. It was also the principles in this book which allow me to eliminate bad habits and also get out of debt. Okay? So the author, born in 1883, that's 100 years before I was born, uh, Napoleon started writing when he was 13 for his father's newspaper and he became one of the original self-improvement gurus and his books are still ranked among the biggest bestsellers in the genre despite being published way back in 1920s and 1930s. Uh, Golden Rules, uh, this is a book that I will share with you today, is a compilation of ma uh, magazine articles Napoleon Hill wrote for a success magazine between 1919 and 1923. Okay? His work is listed in John C. Maxwell's uh, Lifetime Must Read book list. Hill worked closely with successful men such as Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, Theodore Roosevelt, uh, and many distinguished figures at the time. And a large segment of his books are dedicated and based on the personal interviews he had with those men to find out keys to success. Okay. So I want to ask you guys, uh, okay, what is your definition of success in life? Okay, okay, what is your definition of success? Sonia, what is your definition of success in life? Know the purpose of your know the purpose of your life, right? Why why are you living? Okay? Or some of you will say, I want to make a lot of money, okay? maybe millions and billions of dollars, okay? or millions and billions of won, okay? or paycation. You guys know, you, do you guys know what a paycation is? Paycation. Paycation is when you go on a vacation and you can still make money. That's called a paycation. And also fame, happiness, family. Okay? But I think most people we know, including ourselves, uh, are not yet successful because our focus is on the wrong thing. Okay. And Napoleon revealed in the Golden Rules that the keys to success is by working harmoniously in cooperation with other individuals or groups of individuals and thus creating value and benefit for the society. Only then will one create sustainable achievement for oneself. Applying Hill's principles to success and by shifting your focus from money to creating value for others, that's ultimately where success lies. And material wealth, money, will just follow. So you have to change your focus. So one of Hill's beliefs was that you didn't have to be born with a shiny spoon in your hands or with natural talent to succeed in life. Okay? In Korea, we say 금수저, 은수저. 
uh, we say it a lot, right? But he didn't believe that you, it's not a requirement for success. Everyone here is capable of developing the skills needed to reach his or her goals and be a success in their field. His core philosophy came down to this. If you want to get ahead in life, you have to put your thoughts to work. That means when you change the way you think, you can develop the necessary skills and habits which will bring new energy and action into your everyday life. And I will explain that more in a follow, uh, more in detail later on. So I will briefly show you uh, some of Hill's valuable lessons here on this slide. And some of, those, uh, some of his ideas include auto-suggestion, positive suggestion, laws of retaliation, self-confidence, uh, helpful habits, our environment. So I will talk about those in just a little bit. Oops. Okay. So the first one I'm going to tell you this, uh, talk about is the auto suggestion. Okay, let me just see with the show of hands. How many of you guys are familiar with this word? Auto suggestion. Okay, auto suggestion. Is this first time hearing this word, auto suggestion? Okay. All right, so I'll explain to you what this means. Uh, now realize this, we create our lives through our thought, and this can lead to tr uh, transformative success. Now, have you ever met someone who exudes total self-confidence and seems to succeed at everything he or she does? You might be wondering, what's their secret? But here's the thing, we can all create the life we want. The secret is simply how we use our thoughts. So one powerful method Hill describes in his book is auto-suggestion, which allows you to shape how you develop as an individual by feeding your mind is inspiring thoughts and images, not rubbish like shown in this picture. Okay? So we are a product of our environment and the information we surround ourselves with. There are empowering information and disempowering information. There are information that move us towards our goal and there are information that hinder, discourages, or distracts us from reaching our goals. These can come from a variety of sources like books, movies, okay, music, and even people. So it's important what you listen to, what you watch, what you read. Okay? So for example, okay, if you're always comparing yourself to others, okay, having defeatist thoughts, ideas of failure, now those thoughts will ultimately become your reality. Your thoughts will start to project itself on the outside. It shows in your words, action, and in your appearance. It shows in your face, okay? But on the other hand, having positive thoughts with your attention focused on your goal, you will soon realize that everything you think about, your belief system will, and ideology will ultimately align to help you. But this isn't just about the power of positive thinking. Now, the way Napoleon Hill applied this principle in his life uh, was through vivid imagination. Now, you might chuckle at this idea, but Hill had a regular practice of thinking of imaginary meetings, which means uh, where he'd sit down and chat with such distinguished and inspiring guests as Abraham Lincoln, uh, Socrates, Napoleon, Aristotle, okay? So during these imaginary meetings, Hill would spend an hour focusing on certain characteristics of his guests that he hoped to make his own, okay? In the author's case, auto-suggestion allowed him to overcome his fear of public speaking and focus on taking on the qualities of successful orators. Just after weeks of this exercise, he received standing ovation and returned invitations. A year later, he was touring the country as the most influential speakers in the United States. This was all made possible through auto-suggestion. So as you guys practice this exercise, you will begin to assimilate new qualities. Right? So, 
상상력을 동원해서 okay, if you think about okay, let's say uh, you want certain qualities of uh, someone famous okay, just have a vivid imagination have a meeting in your mind 그 속에서 그 사람이 가지고 있는 퀄리티를 내 거로 만들고 싶으면은 그런 식으로 계속 상상을 하면은 sooner or later it's gonna become yours you're gonna assimilate you're gonna 모든 그런 퀄리티를 흡수를 할 수가 있어요 네. 오케이 okay. now uh, Next topic that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the positive suggestion. Now, positive suggestion can improve students' performance and even make people healthier. So, okay. So, can I try a little experiment? I know you guys are very tired. Uh, Justin, teacher, Jung Sam, can you please uh, pick a student to come up and help me? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's give him a round of applause. Okay. Okay. I promise it's not gonna hurt. I'm not gonna try to embarrass you, but come here, come closer. Okay. Why don't you uh okay, introduce yourself? Okay, so okay, so you're gonna help me with this. So turn around. Okay. All right. Do you know this character? You don't know this character? Okay. How many of you guys know? Uh, where's Waldo? Finding Waldo. Okay. Good. How come you don't know this? <laughs> where's Waldo? All right. So it was really popular when I was a kid, and I spent many hours looking through pictures after pictures, trying to find a silly character named Wally uh, in the midst of all the distraction. So what I'm gonna do is, if if you guys had the copy of the PowerPoint, you could try this at your seats. But we're, we'll have uh, Songwoo do this, all right? So Songwoo, I'm going to show you a picture. You might have to step closer to the screen. And I want you to find Waldo, okay? And I'm gonna time you to see how long it takes. All right? Ready? Ready? Okay. Okay. You might have to go closer. Okay, let's count it. Okay, starting with one. Seconds. I'll tell you where he is. He is right here. Okay, he's right here. All right. So someone come, come up here for a second. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a little trick. Let me see your hands. Okay. Go like this. Okay. I want you to massage your second finger right here. Press it hard. Okay. This is gonna help you, or this is gonna increase your blood flow through your brain, so you'll be able to find <laughs> Wall Wally. Okay, faster, right? I always want you to uh, press your pressure point. Okay, right here, right here. Press your, press it hard. Okay. Okay, you gotta press it hard. Okay, it's gonna help you find Wally faster. Maybe probably faster than 30 seconds. So we're gonna try this again. Okay, ready? 
Okay, good. So he was right here. Did you guys did you guys find him as well? For those of you who could see the screen, okay, thank you. You can go sit down. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Actually, the reason why, okay, second time I told Sungwoo to massage his finger, put, put, uh, press his pressure points, that actually has nothing to do with increasing uh, blood flow. It has nothing to do with increasing uh, concentration. But this was an experiment on uh, suggestion, okay? So here are some thought-provoking, provo real uh, life understanding of positive suggestion. As there, as a result, showed he as uh, Hongwoo found the uh, found Wally few seconds faster than the first time. Okay, was it because of what I made him do? Actually, it's not. It's because of what I said. These changes in behavior, okay, uh, influenced by suggestions, are called response expectancies. Okay, there's reasonable research evidence now to show that. Expectancies can directly alter our subjective experience of internal state. We can modify our behavior to produce a particular outcome when we anticipate it. 자, 우리가 예상하는 대로 결과가 그렇게 변하는 거예요. Okay? So as a teacher, okay, I think that our body language and the way we interact with our students in the classroom can also can often convey either unintentional or intentional suggestion to the students. Through this principle, we as a teacher can also encourage and assist students to develop the necessary skills to succeed academically without giving you guys stress. Okay? In a different example, Hill told his doctor to convince his ailing patients that their health was improving. Sure enough, many patients suffering from illness such as pneumonia were convinced by his positive suggestions and began to recover. 자, 환자한테, 아픈 환자한테 좋아진다고 얘기하면은 본인이 그렇게 믿기 때문에 좋아지는 거예요. Okay? Also, patients who were given a muscle relaxant drug, okay? 약을 먹었는데, they felt relaxed since they were told about it prior. A different set of patients who were administered the same drug got tense. Okay? 근육이 텐스하게 됐는데 그거는 그게 스티뮬런트가 아니라고 얘기를 해줬기 때문에 그거는 같은 약을 먹었는데도 불구하고 Okay, so the next topic that I'm gonna uh, discuss is a law of retaliation, okay? So we can use this uh, law of retaliation for success 자, 성공을 위해서 이 법칙을 사용할 수 있는데 어떻게 할수 있는지 알려줄게요 Law of retaliation is another great principle, and it's also one of the most important major principles of psychology. Okay, so here we go. Now let us imagine an example of these two children. Okay, right here. Aren't they adorable? Okay, okay. <laughs> June, they're not. Okay, then what about what about her? That's my niece. Yeah. Yes, I just wanted to show you guys my knees. All right, anyhow. All right, so what do you think will happen five seconds from now on? Okay, look at this picture. What's going on in this picture? What do you think will happen five seconds from now on? Okay, what's going to happen? Huh? Who's going to drop it? Ice cream. You think he's going to drop the ice cream? Okay, what else? What else is gonna happen? Fight each other. Huh? 
There will be no ice cream. Five seconds. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I can guess, and you guys can also guess that there will be a lot of crying involved, right? Okay. If the girl took the notion to sample the ice cream without asking, okay, just took a huge bite or offering anything in return, chances are that it will probably make the boy really angry. And if the things got worse, they could get a little violent. The boy could start hitting, scratching, pinching, whatever. It is only natural for us to retaliate. But what would happen if the girl offered some candy first to the boy? Maybe the boy then would retaliate in kind and maybe offer her some ice cream. Okay? So there would, would not be fighting, there would not be any waterworks. Okay? All right? So our thoughts and actions towards others act as an electric magnet which attracts to us the same sort of thoughts and actions we create. Okay? So whatever we do, 자, 우리가 하는 행동이 똑같은 행동을 okay, uh, attract 하는 거예요. Okay? The person who attracts you with uh, their pleasing personality is merely making use of this law by either being generous or kind to others but not retaliating in the same way when they're wrongfully treated. He or she is attracting the same type of thoughts and actions. If a person presents us, us with a gift, okay, uh, we never feel satisfied until we, retali we have retaliated with something as good or better than which we have received. If a person speaks well of us uh, to increase our admiration for that person and we have to retaliate in return, so we know that like attracts like, and our mind responds in kind to whatever thought impression it receives. We know that kindness begets kindness, and unkindness and injustice begets the similar actions. We can reach and influence okay, human mind directly through this law of retaliation and the principles of suggestion. Okay. So this law of retaliation, how do we master it? Okay, we can't just be kind to everybody, okay? Then they'll just think you're, um, mm, yes, all right? So how do we master this uh, law of retaliation? First, and probably the most important step is uh, to be taken mastering this law is to cultivate self-control, okay? You gotta have self-control. You must learn to take all sorts of punishments and abuse without retaliating in kind, okay? This, this self-control is part of price you must pay for mastery of the law of retaliation. So literally speaking, every person you whom you co come in contact with, okay, uh, is a mental looking glass in which you may see a perfect reflection of your own mental attitude. We are all children, and some of us little bit grown up children, who are easily influenced through this principle. Okay? So before we can use this law in a constructive way, we must brush aside our stubbornness, our pride, and we can all benefit by making intelligent use of this great principle. And soon, don't you think the world would be a little better place to live in? Okay? And next uh, topic that I'm going to talk to you is about prayer. Now, prayer is an action which is openly admitting to our God, okay, that we are in need of guidance. And uh, for myself, as a Christian, okay, with, uh, there's a reason why I pray. And for those of you uh, without religion or without any particular faith, you can still pray for success in life. When you pray, okay, you're sending out a thought into the universe and it will help you achieve the things that you desire. Okay, so for example, if you guys have a test, you can always pray. Uh, even if you don't have a religion, you can say, please help me remember everything that I study for. Okay, please help me remember. Okay, please help me to not make any mistakes. Okay, as simple as, as, simple as that, you're sending your thought into the universe and the universe will conspire to give you what you want. And, okay. Many people go through life with two main goals, uh, and one of it is material wealth, okay? We live in a 
society where money, okay, is valued higher than other things, okay, material wealth and happiness. The good news is you can attain both of these with just one characteristic, which is self-confidence, okay. Raise your hand if you, if you think you're self-confident, or I have a lot of self-confidence. <laughs> good, okay. So, so you know how important this concept is. Okay, well to start off, you'll never be happy without being self-confident. If you hope to gain the things you want in life, uh, you first need to believe that you deserve those things. Okay, it's not uh, the feeling of uh, having the thought of being entitled. You have to uh, believe that if you work hard for it, that you deserve those things. And it, that takes self-confidence. The author tells us that without self-confidence, you will work five to seven days a week, day and night, and will never be happy, or will never make the big money since that's what it takes to jump at an opportunity. Take the chance and be innovative. If you have put in the effort, if you have been sincere, if you haven't been cutting corners and believe that you deserve, then you will be successful. Okay? Yes, believe that you deserve. And here's a quote by Will Smith. And he said, the first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. Okay? There's no reason to have plan B because it distracts from plan A. If you don't believe it, other people aren't going to believe it. Okay? You have to prove yourself that you deserve it. Okay, and developing uh, self-confidence. It's about realizing that your life and happiness are in your hands and no one else's. Nobody can make you happy. You have to make yourself happy. So you need to start taking full responsibility for your life and appreciating that you are capable of success. Everybody's capable of success. So stop crediting and blaming others for your fortune or misfortune. Nobody made you or put you in this predicament, okay? Uh, you can start to see that you are the keys to your own success, whether it be academic success or, for some of us, career success. When this happens, you'll find that you have access to an endless source of energy and vitality that will allow you to reach your most challenging goals. Okay, and this uh, quote says, only you and you alone can change your situation. Don't blame it on anything or anyone. So affirmation, I wanna to talk to you about this next topic, it's called affirmation. Affirmation is simply a positive thought that you can repeat and focus until it becomes a reality. So actually, um, I want to try something here. Uh, the first one, I don't know if you guys can read this, but it says, I know that I can accomplish anything I set out to do. I know that if I truly believe this and act accordingly, success will be mine. And the second says, from now on, actually, uh, I want to ask some of you to read it. Huh? Okay. Can you read the second affirmation? From now on, I'll start by planning exactly what I want to do and then I will focus entirely on this plan.